What up Team Gifted, so let's jump right into this tutorial. Right here I'm using my Oster Fast Feeds Wood Grain Edition. And I'm starting with the lever closed. And then I'm going to slowly, gradually put the lever in the middle. And then put it all the way open. With this type of texture of hair, you want to make sure to have a comb or a brush in the opposite hand to remove any hair or excess hair out of the way so you can see the actual blend. We're also going to freestyle the top, shape it up, and then add the sponge look at the end of the video. So if you want to see that the end of results, make sure to stay tuned and watch this full tutorial. I think this is some great content and thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for the support but uh, let's jump back into this tutorial so right here I'm using a one guard and I started with my lever open and then I worked my way down to the lever closed so from the lever open I put it to the middle and then I close it right here this is the 1 16th guard and just if you didn't know I am using the double magnetic and his guards. The single magnetic guards, they're trash. So if you're gonna use your Andis Masters or Oster Fast Feeds, I would use the double magnetic guards. And guys, everything that I use in my video, look at the description below. I have all the links to all the clippers, the guards, my razor blades, my Andis brush my camera equipment everything check out those links y'all all right right here to knock off this bulk we're gonna use the two guard which is the lever open and then i'm gonna show y'all a clip over comb method with this type of haircut that helps out so much to remove that bulk because the two is only gonna do so much but the highest guard I will be using in this video is the number two guard. And you could tell he likes his taper in the back, kind of mid, not too high. And then the sides, they are a high taper. This is my second time cutting this particular client. He came back from the first haircut and I was like, look, man, I think we got a dope haircut. There's that shooter video. So shout out to my client for letting me do this video because if it wasn't for them I wouldn't have this YouTube channel so big ups to my clients so right here I'm using the clip over comb method <clears throat> and this right here what we're doing less is more all right so you don't want to dig the comb into the hair and then cut you want to dig the comb into the hair and pull towards you um, bring the comb towards you and then cut less is more with this type of technique and the, the reason why I say that is when you cut less hair you'll start to see the blend come together and if you cut too much you, you might create yourself another line or a bald spot or just an area that you know you're gonna have to do more work on so less is more using this technique all right so we're gonna go to the sideburn area to start the taper and we're he wants to keep his sideburn so i always put like a half in that area it's just dark enough to where you can see the sideline i mean where you can see the sideburns sorry still stuck with the super bowl <laughs> All right, right here. So I went from the zero to the middle to open, and then I go to the one guard. Same steps I use in the back is the same steps I use while doing the sides of the taper. So open the one guard, put it in the middle, and then close it. You are bumping to the house. So right here I have the two guard on there. And I started with the lever open and worked my way down again middle to close right here I have it open 
and I'm going with the grain to remove that bulk again it's gonna be a high taper so I personally like high tapers um, being a barber in San Antonio Texas that's all they rock with so when I moved down here to Florida I had to adapt and do low tapers but there's some clients out here that still like those mid high tapers or high tapers so right here I'm starting up the the line of the back of the neck and I'm using my Andes Slimline Pro Allies they are adjusted so there's a difference between adjusted and zero gapped so whenever you pull your clipper or trimmer out of the box and it could be the teeth are overlapping um, it's crooked or something like that so you always adjust your blade zero gapping is where you get them to where you don't even need the razor but I have a heavy hand and I'm starting to notice that so I just adjusted my blade so what we do to one side, what are we gonna do to the other? I'm gonna speed this side up just a tad bit more. Guys, I am working on the My Gifted Guidance video, the episode one. I'm having some technical difficulties with the software I'm using. Um, I'm working on getting a MacBook, but right now I have just a, a regular HP. So the software that I'm using it's kind of confusing I'm working on it but I'm having technical difficulties but I am gonna get this video out I promise I'm getting those pictures thank you for sending in your pictures and um, sending them to my email I appreciate it but I'm still working on it I promise I just in the meantime when I'm working on that video I want to get these tutorials out We're on that road to 10,000 subscribers. Let's go. My birthday's April 19th, so I really want to reach 10,000 subscribers by April. And I think we can do it with the help of y'all. And I appreciate everything, all the support, all the motivation. Um, I read some comments in my, my latest video, and they were saying, man, he needs more subscribers. He has some dope content. I appreciate that. Thank you. We working. We working. <clears throat> So this is some clipper comb action on the sideburn area. I did it on the other side, but my elbow was in the way. So, and in this view, my I was like, you know, it was perfect. So you can see me do clipper over comb action. I think clipper over comb with this type of hair texture is very beneficial. So we're lining up the other side of the neck line. And you can see there's like a little bit of hair sticking out by the ear area. I know I, you didn't see me take it off right here, but whenever I went back to detail my work when the camera was off, I took that piece off. Don't worry. That's little stuff right here I see. Trust me, I got that. All right, so we're lining up the other sideburn, making sure to keep it real natural and crispy. You see how a half is just dark enough to bring those sideburns out? All right, so now right here I have the one guard and I started with the lever open to uh, knock down that front hairline and I'm not necessarily touching the sides because it's a little lighter in that area but I just want to knock down those it was like a bulk of hair that needed to be knocked down that way you can see his edge pop and we're just lining them up started from the middle worked our way to uh, his right my left <laughs> And then I work the other side. I start in the middle. That just what works for me. You are to the house of Always have a brush or comb in your opposite hand. That taper came out blurry. I like high tapers, man. That's just me. But and all and also this client one of this type of haircut so all right so right here this is my one of my favorite parts you know I like free handing free handing beards the afros the flat tops so right here I'm free handing it making it even all the way through and I started from the top and the middle all the way to the back and now I'm working the sides and you just follow that guideline all the way through
Man, that's an ashy elbow. <laughs> All right, so I am dry shaving. Um, just because he didn't have a lot of hair, whenever I made his edge, it was natural. So whenever you do dry shave, though, you want to go with the grain first and then across and against the grain. And I normally don't raise it the back of the neckline, but I think it looks fresh. It looks nice. And it brings out that line with more detail as well. Just make sure to spray alcohol after shave very thoroughly all over the client if you're going to use razor. Especially dry shaving. So you saw how I went with the grain first and then I went against the grain. Went with the grain and now against the grain. Alright right here I just sprayed some oil sheen. And then we're gonna add the twist sponge on top. And you wanna just, you wanna, whatever way you start spinning, stick with that motion. Don't do the opposite, cause you're gonna uncurl it. So stick with one, one motion all the way through. But yeah, this is the finished product, man. It's a high taper, curl sponge on top. Shout out to my client for shooting the video. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. All my social media. Stay gifted, y'all. Team gifted. Let's go.